Hi, I'm John Everett with Zern Industries. Today I'd like to show you an, an excellent troubleshooting technique for the Zern Wilkins Model 375 XL. Now, we're all familiar with the fact that we can have relief valve discharge periodically. That could be caused due to a backflow condition. It could be caused even with a problem inside the valve itself. But I'm going to talk to you today about a different kind of leak, another kind of leak that can happen. And again, this is a troubleshooting technique to help you cure this problem very rapidly and very quickly. With the valve itself, we, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it apart for you and it'll make it a little more clear. We've got a wedge that holds the pressure vessel into the body itself. And I'm going to go ahead and remove that wedge very quickly here and take the pressure vessel out so I can explain to you what's going to happen with this valve and how to troubleshoot this particular problem. So again, I'm just simply pulling out the wedge, sliding the body back, and then that leaves my body Essentially, the pressure vessel's out, and I've got the body left with all the components that I would need to go ahead and put the pressure vessel back in. But one thing that can happen with this valve is that when we put the pressure vessel back in and we tighten up our wedge, if we over-tighten that wedge, that can cause an actual leakage from the valve itself. And what happens is, is when the wedge slides in and it tightens up this particular sleeve here, that's pushing against the pressure vessel, sealing a series of O-rings. If we over tighten that wedge, that can cause discharge or leakage to come from underneath this particular sleeve. Now I'm going to go ahead and rotate it over and what you'll see is the sleeve is o-ringed inside and if we over tighten that little wedge, it'll cause the sleeve to list to one side and we'll get a small drip coming out of that area where the o-ring's at. And again, it's just caused by making that sleeve list to one side, the o-ring no longer gets a good squeeze and that causes it to leak. The simple solution to the problem is to simply back the screws out of the wedge. In other words, when you put this wedge in, push it down with your thumbs, go ahead and tighten the screws up with your fingers, and then give them about a half a turn. That would be more than enough to tighten those screws up. If you really tighten them up and you bottom them out hard, again, what that can do is it'll push that wedge so deeply in, it causes the sleeve to list to one side, and then the O-ring under that sleeve can no longer facilitate a seal, and you'll see dripping. So again, just to reiterate, whenever you take the pressure vessel out and you're putting it back in, when we put our screws back in to tighten that pressure vessel into place, do not over tighten those two screws. Simply push down on the wedge with your thumb, tighten the screws up by hand, and I'd say give them about a half a turn with your Phillips screwdriver and that should be more than adequate to make it seal up, but yet not over tighten it such that it gives you any leakage or dripping out of the bottom. Now, this particular process, it's noted in the instruction sheet, but it's always helpful to have somebody point out to you that that could be a problem in the field, and it has a very simple cure. Once again, just don't over-tighten your screws on that wedge. If you have any questions about this, I'd encourage you to call us at Customer Care here at Zern Wilkins. We're happy to uh, discuss this with you, give you the corrective action. Uh, basically, just describe to you what the problem is and how to stop it in the future. So never hesitate to give us a call if you need any help.